Hello and welcome back to the channel. Spring is finally here and it looks absolutely amazing here in this beautiful ancient forest here this afternoon. Absolutely beautiful. Today I'm going to be testing out a brand new lens that I'm hoping is going to be a mainstay in my landscape photography bag going forward. So super excited to test that out. I haven't used it at all. It's going to be the first time share that experience with you and see see if we can capture something here this afternoon in this absolutely beautiful beautiful area wow every time i come here it just looks completely different absolutely stunning so have a little wonder see if i can find some compositions to work on and test this lens out see you in a bit when i find something interesting So, got my composition set up right now, looking towards these mossy oaks. Got these wonderful sweeping branches that come over from the left hand side, all covered in lichens and mosses, look absolutely amazing. But the leaves haven't burst on these oaks yet. On the right hand side, we've got this wonderful tree. It's just burst into life, so it's got those wonderful spring greens that we love this time of year. And <laughs> it's one of those, isn't it? I set the camera up and it has amazing light on these trees and by the time I've got everything set up that light has disappeared and we've got overcast conditions right now. But I think there's some breaks in the cloud and I'm going to wait it out see if we can get that wonderful backside lighting that I had initially when I set up. So on the front of the camera I've got my brand new Tamron lens. It's the first time I've ever used a Tamron lens. And this is for Fuji X mount, but they're also making them for Sony as well. They're brand new. This is 18 to 300 millimeters in terms of its focal length. So that covers a vast range. It really does. And that is the reason why I bought it. I do quite a bit of walking with my wife. And when I'm out and about, I need to do it all lens. I don't want to be carrying several lenses when I'm out walking the dogs. So I'm just after one lens that I can take and that covers all bases for me and I'm hoping this can be that lens. And if it really works out, I'm hoping I can, it can be a mainstay in my landscape photography bag as well, because it means I'll have to take one less lens with me when I'm out and about shooting landscapes. But time will tell whether this you know, cuts the mustard, if you like. Typically, super zooms are, there's a bit of a stigma attached to them, isn't there? That they're not optically good enough, probably, for landscape photography. But, you know, as technology moves forward, I think maybe these things, you know, progress as well. You know, this is brand new design. So I'm really hoping that it can deliver for landscapes. If it does, it will be fantastic because it's weather sealed. It's such a vast focal range. Potentially, if I'm doing a hike in the mountains, I could just take this one lens with me and that would do, you know, if I've got all my camping gear as well. So potentially it could work out really well, but time will tell. Um, you know, I just don't know how it's going to work out. But first impressions, like this is literally the first time I've used it. I haven't even tried it at home. So first impressions, you know, it's plastic as opposed to a lot of the Fuji lenses, which are metal. Um, but, you know, it feels solid. It's lightweight, which is great for when you're hiking and walking. Uh, yeah, first impressions are great, to be honest. Now, I bought this lens with my own money. This is not sponsored content or anything like that. I just purely bought it for specifically when I'm out and about hiking and walking and I just want to take one lens with me. So I'm going to wait for this light now, take a shot here and then move on to see if we can find something else because this woodland is incredible. An abundance of wild flowers, we've got bluebells, I passed some wild garlic earlier as well. Now typically you know spring we, we get a lot of mist especially in Wales we get a lot of rain so we're 24th of April right now, and we've hardly had any rain at all during April. We've had really, really dry conditions, no humidity whatsoever, not even a sniffle of any mist in this woodland here. We've had a few misty days out on the coast where that mist is rolled in off the sea, but uh, nothing in these woodlands here. This is more inland. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a beautiful, beautiful uh, spring, but yeah, 
not so good for getting out in the woodland when we want those beautiful wet damp atmospheric conditions that work so well in spring but I've come today because there's some cloud cover and that does help when you're shooting into the woodland sometimes if it's a bright blue sky it's really really difficult to con to control those contrast levels so yeah that's why I've picked today to come just because there's some broken cloud so hopefully we can get this shot and move on and see if we can find something else. So I wasn't sure about that first image. I just wanted to get one in the bag and that light when I first set up was really intriguing, but it never seemed to materialize again, which was a bit of a shame, but literally I'm a hundred yards away from where I were before. I packed the tripod up and everything, strapped it to my bag. And then I was thinking to myself, this scene here looks like it might be worth shooting. So I've unpacked everything again and, uh, Got everything set up because it does look pretty cool actually. I think I prefer this composition than the first one. The first one without the light just looked messy to me here on the back of the camera. Let's quickly talk about this composition. I'm at about 90 mil. Now what I did find actually when I used to use my 18 to 55 and my 50 to 140 uh, lenses, my Fuji lenses when I'm shooting in the woodland, quite often I find myself in between focal lengths, I'm quite often shooting probably between say 45 and 95 mil. And quite often I would swap lenses and I'd be caught in between. So this is actually working out quite nicely. I don't have to swap lenses to change my composition. And this has worked out really well here because initially I was a lot further forward when I set up my composition, but I was getting some of the sky into the shot. So what I've done is I've backpedaled quite a bit, come back and zoomed in a bit more. So like I mentioned about 95 mil now, and that's eliminating the sky. That's allowing me to just concentrate on three of these wonderful oak trees that have got their limbs pointing out to the right hand side of the frame look absolutely wonderful and the blanket of beautiful white flowers there just underneath spreading through into the distance looks absolutely amazing and we've got these wonderful branches here on the left just a little splash of green which really helps the composition again what i could do with this some light right now this cloud is really thick and heavy really dense and it's really diminished any kind of side lighting that we may have. But nonetheless, I'm gonna take this shot. I really wanna make this one and see if I can maybe try and take a few more images today with this lens, try and take as many as I possibly can really to get back and test it, you know, to see exactly how it performs in these kind of conditions. So without further ado, let's grab this one, move on, and see if we can find another image today. And this arrangement here, I really like actually. It's two, two trees basically that form this opening. There's a pathway, there's lots of wildflowers. We do have sky in this shot, which is, um, I think it works actually for this particular shot today because the sky is so gray, so dark. I think if the sky was a lot brighter, we'd really struggle to control the highlights. But because it's so overcast and gray, 
we're able to expose for the highlights and still get plenty of detail in the shadows down here. So that's pretty cool. I'm at F13 because what I'm trying to do is get the tree on the left one, focus on the tree on the left, just over here. And that's given me enough depth of field to get the tree, which is, I would say 15 meters or so behind this one on the left to get that in sharp focus as well. And then everything beyond that falls out of focus ever so slightly and that does help with the separation a little bit there's a few fallen logs and some mossy boulders down here in the uh, carpet of wild flowers that you know flow through all of this woodland it's absolutely incredible it really is if only i could time this right with some beautiful mist and light we could come up with some really special images but there's nothing forecast nothing forecast at all not for at least another week so uh, i've got to be patient but uh, if i don't get them this year i'll come back another absolutely beautiful i really like this composition it's just light is uh, not on our side today but this has been a great exercise because I've been able to test my lens out and I can go back and evaluate these images, see whether they're sharp, see if I've got any other things that I need to work on. And at least then when I do come back and get good conditions, I'll know whether it's worth bringing this lens or not. Anyway, guys, I'm going to take this shot, have a little wander on through the woodland. And if I take any other images today, I'll display those at the end. But yeah. If you do enjoy this content please do consider hitting the thumbs up button i'm told that makes a world of difference please also consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so already that really helps me out and if you really want to help me out an absolute ton please do consider taking a look at the photographers clubhouse where we learn share and inspire one another to create amazing photographs take part in monthly challenges and watch all of my other content over there yeah i'll leave the link for that down in the description and in the card above Anyway guys, until a couple of weeks time, we'll hopefully be out shooting some wild garlic that is on the agenda. Yeah, take care and I'll see you soon.